we know that everyone would like to have the answers as to what happened with Makeba. We know it is difficult to wait for those answers. The Middlesex County District Attorney defending her office and the integrity of its investigation into Michaela Miller's death. The Hopkinton teenager was found dead two weeks ago. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Anna Ritas Rodriguez. Miller's family is saying this was a murder and are pressing police to take action. WBC's Ken McLeod reports from Hopkinton. Town officials met with the police chief tonight to assess Hopkinton's readiness for Thursday's vigil slash demonstration here, and they urged everyone to wait for the facts in Michaela Miller's death rather than buy into social media speculation. There was angst on the streets of Hopkinton tonight, both about the upcoming vigil and the events that triggered it. Whatever it is, I think, you know, obviously you need to get to the bottom of it for, you know, for everybody's sake. This morning, another social media post by the mother of 16 year old Michaela Miller contended authorities are covering up what she believes was the murder of her black gay daughter two weeks ago. This afternoon, that brought another outright denial from the DA, who again indicated that the medical examiner's report and test results on other forensic evidence are not yet in. And it is a great disappointment always that we cannot immediately give families those answers. But today, the DA did sort through a confrontation Michaela had with four other teens at her apartment complex the evening before she was found hanging from a tree along this nearby trail. She had been pushed and punched in the face. However, the DA says evidence gathered from the other teens' phones, surveillance video, and witnesses indicate those kids were nowhere near when Michaela left her apartment on Saturday night nor were they around in the hours leading up to the discovery of her body in the adjacent woods. But the DA stopped short of calling it an apparent suicide. There is no truth to the allegation that we have reached a final conclusion. Tonight, town officials huddled for an emergency session, officially welcoming Thursday's vigil, while condemning those accusing authorities here of turning a blind eye to everything from murder to bully-induced suicide. It has turned our town into a circus. But several Hopkinton residents told us they hope to attend the vigil to help the family and their town heal, while acknowledging the remaining question marks make that tough. As a human being, I just don't know. I'm just horrified and I want, I want answers. When the investigation is done, the DA is pledging to make the lion's share of it public. Town officials say they'd love to make Thursday a celebration of Michaela Miller's life, but all the rumor and innuendo threaten to derail that. In Hopkinton tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.